Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you guys doing? It is a beautiful day today, so welcome back to the channel. Van Life the Black Pearl. I'm living my best life, guys. We're coming to the close of a work week. I can't wait till Friday. This is this has been an amazing week, guys. If you've been following the journey, so uh, my daughter, my granddaughter came to Massachusetts. So we have other family members here too. So we were quite busy. I posted a couple of things we did, not much, just a few things that we did. And um, we had a great time. We had a family great time. The importance of family is just amazing. It's just amazing how important family is. To have a family is very, very important. So then we had to take them home. <laughs> I had to take them home, uh, which we didn't like, but you know, everybody liked their own private space too, but at the same time, like we really, really, really didn't want to take them home. You know, we really wanted them to stay. <laughs> you know, we were, they were having a good time. We have a small place, but we may do, nobody was in anybody's way. You know, anybody was just living their best life. And, and then my granddaughters, they, had, they, they got treated like princesses. Oh, they left out of here with much gifts. Uh, her and, and the one that's here. So I'm so happy for that, guys. Uh, like I said, family is so important. That's part of my Benjamin living his best life, y'all. Because I remember I had a family, but didn't have a family. So I am extremely grateful. You know, so I am here at a park. Um, it's called Clap Park. It's a local park and I decided to pull in here and just chill out for a little while. I really haven't had a, a moment to myself. So this is my moment to myself. Um, I ate at work. You guys follow the journey, you know I uh, I do, well I started out doing meals on wheels and delivering, uh, delivering meals, nutritious meals to the elderly and the shut-in. And um, that thing, well, I had filled out two applications for the same company when I applied for that job. But I got that one first because they, they need them real bad. But then my application came up uh, for a supervisor. I'm used to being a supervisor. And um, I just put it in for the heck of it. Bottom line, I don't know, two months later, my same boy said, hey, listen, I don't want you Monday. Don't report for work Monday. When she said it, my heart sunk, right? And then she started laughing. She said, so I'm going to need you to report to at the location I'm at now. And um, some such and such is going to be there, and they're going to start training you. And I'm like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? And then she said, you applied for such and such. I said, yeah. So oh, here it is. <laughs> here it is. She is just so happy with her choice. She was there today, guys. She was there today. She came through. And um, she's excited with her choice. She's excited that everything is going along better than just fine. That the chaos with the paperwork and the methods of doing things, um, being passed over from another organization to this one didn't fit. And how quickly I picked up on all of that, dismissed all of that, you know, proposing new things first. So I'll just take it upon myself to dismiss it. But everything I dropped on the table, they grabbed. <laughs> yes, yes, do that. Yes, do that. How many you need? What do you need? Boom, boom. And that's the way it's been going. So, and uh, it ain't me. <laughs> Yo, all glory goes to the one put the stars in the skies and created this planet for me to live in the dwell on. That's who it goes to, not me. I'm incapable of doing good things. So I'm just chilling. I met a family over here and uh, kind of talked to them. I guess they kind of want to be by themselves. But I'm going to take a short walk and kind of give you a peek. So they are nomads. They have a converted mini school bus and a 
RV. I mean, uh, what do you call it? RAV4, sorry. Um, I don't know. Everybody's not up to showing their homes or being hospitable um, in that nomadic lifestyle type deal. Because you got to think about it. You've always got to be careful. <laughs> you always got to be careful where you're traveling, where you're coming from, where you're traveling to. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get up and take a little walk around let you guys see what it looked like around here. And then uh, we'll see what happens from there. That was a heck of a hike there. But I made it up. Yeah, the score clap part. This is where the baseball field is here. And then the train tracks back there. And like I said, this is for the little kids' uh, baseball field there. We'll walk over here in a minute. We had to come up this hill. And this hill wraps all the way around. And what happens with this particular hill is, in the wintertime when it snows, and I came past here, I just didn't stop. Kids come up, climb up the hill and, and uh, sled down. You see right there is a bunch of sleds from the community. They donate it for the use of skiing off of this thing here when it's snow. And when you finish with it, you put it back. You don't take it home. And they're still in there. there. <laughs> and this is the top part of the hill. People do uh, stealth camp up in these hills. Yeah, people do stealth camp up here. Unfortunately, I'm gonna use the word, the homeless come up here, particularly winter, more or less in the summer. I guess they live here, camp out, all up in this area here during that time. And over on this end is the kids park and the water, the water park area. So you can see they got the kids slides and the swings. And over here, of course, is the, uh, the water deal. The water comes out of there. Some restrooms. Very nice condos right across the street there. All of this is where the kids slide down, or grown folks too. And we've been here, we've done it. When the winter time come, it'd be covered in ice, none but snow. You slide down the hill, end up in the middle of the baseball field, and turn around and come back. As you can see over that peak there, that's the ski resort back there. The ski resort. I'm not sure which one that is, tell you the truth. Uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, Bosque Mountain. That's it, Bosque Mountain. Ski resort back there. They got snow machines, so they got a little bit of snow up on top of the hill. And you see this point here? This is one of the highest points to sled down from. <laughs> and you can see the path where people have made their way that way back to where the sleds are. But this is one of the, you get a little bump right here. So when you go down, when you get to that second one, you go flying. <laughs> But it's be so much snow, the snow kind of help you out a little bit. You know, so just walk back over here by the van and uh, go back there with a the little league park is. All right, I made it down. Boy, that was a long walk. I need to get back in the gym, y'all. I am so out of shape. So this is a batting cage. It's a little league play. The infield. Berkshire Baseball Academy. This is 
a little field. Here's the concession stand and the, uh, what is it, the umpire's booth. I guess those open up a bit where they can see the game, even score. They got a really nice scoreboard over there. place to come hang out for the day and just relax huh it's so peaceful team benches I guess by this walk thing you can walk all the way around the field itself I think on the other side of that is houses down there so that wouldn't be a good idea I'll make my way back over here that's a nice little schoolie right there Guys, and I even put the uh, awning back on it too. Uh, and I had to attach it to our rails up top here. I do a little different on this one than I did on the first Black Pearl. Actually, this one is a lot simpler. Those are uh, carrying rods. Once you turn, take them off the sides, you know, you get that space like that where they stick up like that. The other ones was flat. I just attached it to it. Here it is. Now I got this from, uh, what is it, Home Depot. This is what the imperfection was. These Velcro, they were in the wrong place. Whoever sold them on, should have sold them on back to me. Because they won't wrap around all of the poles. So that was a defect. I didn't know it at the time, so. We're getting ready for the summer, y'all. It's getting warmer these days. Sure, it's getting warmer. Folks just want to get out and camp and have a good time, so. Here we is, y'all seen the Black Pearl already. Listen, the seat, I left the seat up well, from, from the visit the other day. I'm gonna leave that seat up. Here's my plan. let you guys see this sorry I cut you out while I was in the van back there <laughs> but there's a part of that just went on too doggone long it's gonna talk to me so let's check this out
Hapuslah kisah aku dan dirimu Karena dirinya Bagaimana caranya Bisa berakhir di sini Janji kita berdua Dibuang begitu saja All right, guys, that's enough walking for me for today. <laughs> that was a nice little hike. You know, um, like I said, I've been in this park a few times. I just never walked it like that. I go over the hill if it's uh, this time of year or back or I've never seen the railroad trestle or been on it. I knew it was there, but we got a chance to do that today. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys being like the Black Pearl Benchman's living his best life. You guys have a great day, okay? And remember, you are a star. You shine so bright. Live your very best life, guys. Until our next video, as always, shalom. I will see you guys soon.